All right, go ahead. All right, guys, now this is 2019 Freedom Elite 28 FE. It is on the 450 chassis V10 engine. Um, you're gonna love this coach because it's gonna have a full automatic awning right there, LED lighting, um, grab handle going into the coach. You're gonna have plenty of entertainment outside. You have a television with a sound bar. Also, you're gonna have plenty of storage in this coach with lights that go on and on. Off. You're gonna have a little storage over here as well. Also, a receptacle for your television or uh, radio or electric griddle you want to put out the out here. This is gonna be the back of your furnace. This is gonna be the back of your refrigerator. Here, guys, is where you're gonna fill up your tanks. So, if you're gonna do any dry camping, this is where you fill your water tanks up at. Um, if you're gonna go on a long trip, want to use the restroom, you're more than welcome to do so. Now, standard water hose will not fit in there, so what I recommend, cheapest route, is get an old water hose, cut it in half, um, put the other end on your on your water hose, and that way you can you can stick it in there. You don't have to sit here and hold it while you're filling your tank up. All right, you're gonna have slide toppers on your slides. That's gonna keep the debris and rain out of your uh, off the top of your slides there. Huge storage there. Right here going to be a quick connect for a grill so if you want to hang a grill right there it's going to feed right into your propane tanks one thing I ask if you do put a, uh, a grill there and that grill has a regulator on there pull it off because you're already regulated on the coach it will not work back here guys it's going to be your bumper cap so this is where you store your sewer hose to prevent you from putting it all in your um, pass through storage and all that good stuff There you go. All right, ladder to your roof. One thing you want to do is you want to maintain that on uh, that roof one time, one time a year. You, whether you do it yourself or you bring it to us, I believe there's a 250 pound maximum capacity on this. Yes, 250 pounds. What's nice about what Thor offers, I believe they're going to give you the 8,500 pounds tow um, tow rating. 8,000 pounds, excuse me. There's 8,000 pound tow rating back there. Um, backup camera going to be right up top. Alright, moving around to the side of coach. You got your wastewater holding uh, tank to the left. With, in other words, it's going to be your gray water. Your sewer outlet connection to the right, which is going to be your black water. Alright, you got two little pull valves down here also. And then there's your bumper cap. To, to dump is real easy. What you want to do is put your sewer hose to this end. Put the other end to your dump station. What you'll do is you'll leave those valves closed throughout your stay because if you open those valves like some customers do, there's two things wrong with that. That gray water um, flushes out real easy, but the black water tends to sit in that tank. And not only that, on the other end of your sewer, um, on the dump station, you got those fumes coming back into your coach. So you want to leave those valves closed off until you're ready to dump. Good rule of thumb is when you do get ready to uh, dump, you will dump your black water first. And then you'll dump your gray water second. What that does is going to flush out your tank for you. Um, other than that, you put your cap back on and you're ready to go. 30 amp power cord will go right there for your service or power. Here is your cable outlet right there. So if you um, that cable provides cable, uh, if that campground provides cable, you'll run a uh, coaxial cable in there and it'll feed through your coach. This is a tank flush. You'll love this option right here because once you're done dumping. What you can do is you leave that black water extended, run a water hose through there, and it'll flush out your tank for you. Um, so you don't have to go into your toilet like the old school ways. City water is going to be right next to you. So when you're at that campground, this is your continuous water throughout your stay. You'll run a water hose right through there. One thing I recommend is a pressure regulator because you do not know what that campground's pressure is. And that's the last thing you want is to uh, blow out your tanks. Here's where your fuel go. Of course, you, like I said, on the other side, you have slide toppers on your slides. Here's your hot water heater. This is a DSI direct spark ignition hot water heater, so you don't have to manually light anything. Um, this is a pressure relief valve right up here. Let you know how much water you have in your, uh, let you know you have water in your hot water heater. And this plug here is for winterization. here you have a little storage as well with your 30 amp power cord there's your propane 
this little meter here is going to let you know how full or empty you are. This is how you cut your um, propane on and off. And this is where you'll fill your propane. Okay. Here's going to be your Onan generator, 4,000 watt. This is great because you can run this going down the road if you need to use the air conditioner in the uh, coach. Uh, what's nice about it as well is it will cut off after you um, get past a quarter of a tank of gas. Interesting. All right, if this one do it here, it's going to be your exhaust for that generator. There we go. All right, All warranty right. on the motor and. Uh, What's that? The, the warranty on the your three year thirty six thousand mile warranty on the on your on your motor. Whichever comes first. Okay. All right, so we'll move inside the coach. And you're right, I'm not gonna do I'm gonna just show them the video. No, I, I start thinking about it. You got a battery there that's gonna be your house battery. And it charges when the vehicle is running? It is, absolutely. It's going to charge when the vehicle is running or when you got the generator on. All that good stuff. Coming into the coach, you're going to have a fire extinguisher always in your walkway. Right here is going to be your battery disconnect. You cut that on or you cut it off to kill all the uh, 12 volt in the in the coach. Right below you, it's, it is, this unit is prepped for solar panels, so if you do decide to go that route, this is going to be your control panel for your solar. Um, this is going to be your awning. In and out. That's your step light. Interior lights. And I'm assuming this is going to be your LED um, lights on your awning. GFCI. A protected outlet there. Extra prep state, prep space, excuse me. It's pretty easy to just kind of fold it up and down. This is your fan switch here. These are gonna be your LED lights. Alright, so let's move to this control panel, guys. So here's gonna be your tank monitor. So you push this button, it says LPG, it's gonna let you know how much gas you have. Your battery, how full, how charged your battery is, your fresh water, your black water, and your gray water. This is your slide button, so let's go ahead and get the slides out. What Freedom Elite does is um, you, some units make you start your engine before you put the slide out. You do not have to in this Freedom Elite. It works off 12 volt only. And then you have a water pump right beside you. So if you're doing that dry camping, this is and you fill that water tank up, this is where you, you would cut your water pump on. You have a hot water heater there. So you have LP and electric. So that's good for you when you get to the campground. Some folks go ahead and cut the LP on just to get a fast heat. And then after that, you'll use the electric side of the deal. Um, so you don't have to waste any of your propane. All right, here's your generator, guys. So what you want to do to start your generator is you'll prime your generator, and you do that by hitting the stop button for about 20 seconds. Sometimes it doesn't take that long. You get that little light ready to rock. Then I'll hit that start button. And there she goes. So at this point, we'll go ahead and cut the AC on. We're warm here. Thermostats in the bedroom. Okay. In the bedroom, it is self-explanatory. It is just a regular thermostat like you see at your home, and it'll control your heat and your air condition. And since we're since we're over, already over here, Mr. Ron, let's go ahead and get this slide out as well. And that switch is going to be right there. Hey, well, this is a nice camper. 
above the floor space. Right, right underneath this gas is a carbon monoxide detector. You have a heat vent there, USBs, charging your tablets, your phones, also a receptacle as well. On over you have another receptacle and you have a 12 volt if you want to charge your phone that way, like your cigarette lighters in your car. Those pop lights just cut on and off. Emergency exit here guys, so you just pull these pins, push the window out and then you have an emergency exit there. Bathroom, very self-explanatory in here as far as your sink goes in your shower. You do have a foot flush on your toilet. One thing I ask you is when you get to that campground is you're going to want to flush that toilet a total of three times. What you're doing is you're getting the water in that black tank so nothing sticks down there for you. So flush it once, let the water come up, flush it again, let it come up, flush it one more time and you're good to go. Receptacle here, light switch, and your fan switch. So open that lid you just break it right on up. Right below you here guys is going to be a breaker panel and your fuse box. So breakers to the left, fuses to the right. What's nice about your fuses, if you do burn one out, they'll burn, they'll glow red for you so you don't have to individually guess. Gas and electric refrigerator. You'll love this because you can use gas while you're going down the road if you don't have your generator on or it automatically switches over to electric when you do get to that campground and plug in. You have your mode button here that lets us know we're on automatic. The A is for automatic and it's also letting you know what we're utilizing right now which is electric because we do have the generator running. To the right is your temperature control. Also green, the green light symbolizes electric. So if you want a quick reference that's to let you know that we're on electric. If that light is Auburn, it will let you know that you're running off of gas only. So, just a little quick reference for you. Excellent. Here's your stove and um, oven. These little LED lights are right to the side, which really lights up the coach. You have a prep area here, where it also acts as a backsplash. To light this stove, it's very easy. You'll put it on the flame there, and you'll spark. Simple as that. Spark. And spark. And and then, of course, there's your temperature control there. Oven, very easy as well. You do not have to manually light it like the old school ways. So you put it on that flame, hold your pilot in, and spark. Sometimes you have a little air in the line, which is okay. You just keep on sparking. And then once you get it lit, you won't have to sit here and do this this much anymore. It's never been done, so that's never been done. Yeah. So you're just getting the air out. Getting the air out. And there she goes. I just got a little flame. So at that point you want to continue to hold that pilot in for about 30 seconds. Right there, there at the bottom. You see that flame going? I don't. I can see it from the reflection there. Oh, I see. You see it now? Yeah. And then after about 30 seconds or so, you can go ahead and let it go. You see we're still lit, so then you'll put your temperature up. And there she goes. Good deal. Easy stuff? that back off. Our microwave is pretty self-explanatory just like your one at home. How do you like that? Get a little spray wrong with that. Also, right back behind you, you have a power tower. USBs and receptors. Right here. Dinette will convert it to the bed. 
very easy to do right underneath you here you have a little lever that unlocks it and locks it so i'll put that over now we'll just push straight down very easy it goes right down to the cushions and then just make sure you lock it back i don't know why you don't want to put this on youtube you're doing good man this is awesome you have um seat belts both on the <laughs> rear side and the front side pop lights there you also have a usbs to charge your phone plenty of places to charge your phone in. pop lights here mm -hmm. receptacle there and your two speakers another receptacle on the other end Here's your lock pack guys, so this is going to be for all your manuals, um, your second set of keys are in there as well. Jackknife sofa, do so, we'll pop these out, and she just folds right on up. Wow. Also, you're going to have storage under there as well, with seat belts. Storage underneath, with seat belts, wow. With seat belts. All right, let's go to your cab area. Here's your first set of keys. What you have down here, I don't know if you can get there, Ron, is an emergency stop, start, excuse me. So if your battery dies up here, you can hit that and hold it, cut your um, engine on, and it'll pull from the battery back to your house battery. So wow. that's, you'll love that option as well. Very simple, it's on the Ford chassis, so you got all your fork um, settings there. Air conditioner. Let's cut this one. <laughs> all right so there's your radio everything is touch screen so you can flip it back and forth um, it is bluetooth as well what's nice about it is you have an hdmi over here so if you want to mirror your phone to this you're more than welcome to do so by finding the hdmi to your cell phone port auxiliary series xm ready also when i take this unit and put it in reverse there's our backup camera guys all you have to do is put it in reverse back to park and it brings us here we have a mode button here to take us like i said it is series xm ready radio auxiliary in bluetooth and the dual mirror so remember i told you you plug that hdmi cable there the other end will go to your phone and you, if you need to use GPS or anything like that, you can do that there or look at your pictures. You're more than welcome to do so. And then that just goes right back off. USBs right there if it needs, needs to be. You also have a slot here for your micro SD card. So you can stick your SD card in there if you want to play music off the card, look at your phone. Awesome. Uh, for photos, excuse me. Um, and then there's a microphone right above you too. So we'll take calls. Um, overhead cab here, guys. About 300 pounds, 350 pounds. Weight capacity, 500 pounds. There you go. Got a 500 pound capacity up there. Um, your TV will swing over. Mm -hmm. And this okay. this oh. mattress just goes right over this. That's just gonna that mattress folds right over. Absolutely. Okay. Um, more pop lights for you. Alrighty, um, one other thing guys, and I think that'll do it for me, these little Velcro deals there, you should have a, a privacy, they're usually in here, yeah, so this is your privacy curtain, and that's just going to snap on these Velcro buttons all the way across for you. Privacy curtain. Yep, okay. you got them here too, so you'll start here, you'll work your way around there, all the way around. 
back to there. Okay. All righty. All right, Ken, that was an excellent walkthrough. I thank you very much. The customers are going to love this. Absolutely. One other thing while I'm thinking about it, you got your antenna there. That's going to be your over the air antenna. It's uh, different from your old campers. You don't have to crank it. And we always forget to bring them back down and go under a bridge. There she goes. That's going to be stationary. It's a 360 dial. Flip it. Push up. You can turn it any which way you want. All right. Now that's it. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kenny. This You're is uh, Josh. Also, he's going to be helping me get this camper down there. He's following me in my truck. All right, thank you again, and uh, everybody have a good day.